Hi, Lisa Fain here, CEO of Center for Mentoring Excellence and co-author of Bridging Differences for Better Mentoring. It's February, and here in the U.S., that means we are celebrating Black History Month. I'm certainly no expert uh, on Black history, but I did have a few thoughts I wanted to share with you. Dr. Wayne Dyer said, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. And too, for too long, we've looked at American history to the exclusion of Black history. And one of the things that I've learned through my own um, studies on the subject is that American history is black history. Um, and so I thought in the spirit of that, I wanted to share with you three things that I've appreciated over the last uh, year or so that have um, sparked my own learning uh, on black history. The first is a podcast called 1619 by New York Times. It's a wonderful uh, series, very engaging. 1619 is, of course, the year that the first ship with enslaved people from Africa came to the U.S., and so the podcast series is named after that, but it will help you think through uh, our history through a lens um, of uh, our African-American uh, population in the U.S. The second thing is a series of portraits by my friend Hiawatha D. called Iconic Black Women. Uh, Hiawatha has done a portraiture of important black women uh, in history, and by following his series, I have learned the names and the stories of many of the women who have shaped American history. Uh, and encourage you to uh, look him up and follow uh, his work. I know he's starting a series uh, for iconic black men as well. And the third thing is a book that I am just beginning to read called Black Fatigue by Mary Frances Winters, um, which is teaching me about the impact of racial oppression on African Americans. And I've learned a lot. I am learning a lot um, through this book. I think you'll find it valuable as well. I hope these resources help you, encourage you to change the way you look at our history so uh, that things in our society can change. Be well.